Yeah, I found I was able to nudge that up with a 14 mil spanner. Um, you'll have to work out which way round to put the head of the spanner to get the leverage. Used it's a bit like um, a bit like when you're using the tool for um, releasing your chuck and draw bolt. Used in the same sort of method as you would with that. Um, now I'm going to put the love joy connector on there. And um, I'm going to snug that right down to behind that bolt. It's, sorry, nut. So that that can't unscrew or go anywhere anyway. I'm going to do that now. Yeah, I've just come to the conclusion that um, right now would be the ideal time, really, to um, tighten off this bolt, which is done via the 5mm Allen key at the top there. What I did do, though, is I tightened it off. I made sure that I got this lead screw down, right down the centre, as, as square as possible. I pushed it up into the hole, kept it held up into the hole, as I tightened up the 5mm Allen screw. That seems to be okay. And I can uh, turn the Lovejoy spider can spider connector smoothly and wind that back and forwards. I'm now going to refit the second half of this mounting which is holding the motor. I'm going to do that now. Okay there we go. We have the the Y axis of the machine all rigged up. All the connectors, everything's all tightened up. So we can now uh, stand the machine back up again, ready to do the uh, X axis of the machine, which is the last axis of a standard machine. Um, at a future point, I will be doing a, a tutorial for an A axis. This will be with um, a rotary table. Okay, next thing we're going to do um, check to see if you need to clean any waste off on the side of the saddle, etc. What I have just noticed is on the lead screw and where the original handle mounting was, it's got the two screws. They were originally hidden before, um, so I, didn't, I couldn't get at those. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to undo those two screws, and you'll see that you've got two holes in the top of your new Y mounting point. Obviously those are for, for securing that down into there. And then we're going to screw that back onto the side of the saddle. We're going to do that now. Right, okay, I've done that. Keeping the same orientation as it was on the original handle. Because obviously this is going to this is going to fold over and secure onto the side of the saddle. As you can see, I've just cleaned any waste or any dirt that was, was down there because that's going to be difficult to get to once this is remounted. I'm now going to remount this. But, um, first of all, I'm going to put the gib screws in there, but loosened. So we'll adjust those up later once we've got um, the final axis, the final Z axis bed fitted. Right, okay, what we're going to be doing next is now that we've cleaned things up down there, we're going to take the concertina, the rubber concertina, we're going to remount that. Um, by locating the rubber against the side of the saddle first then the metal will go behind it so we're going to be like that and then we're going to be putting the two screws back in underneath which were put safely to one side earlier which are located in, in the handle there I'm going to refit those now right the way in which I've prepared that as I've laid the plastic this way, laid the piece of metal across it, popped the screws through, 
and then through the rubber. The rubber is then gripping those screws. Be able to then fold that back on itself. Now and that's ready for me to now screw it back into place using the posi screws. That's now completed. That was pretty straightforward. Okay, let's get this um, last axis up and running and back in place. Okay, so first of all, we need to take our new lead screw, lie that across the bed, drop it into place. Okay, now that that's dropped into place, you're going to need to hold it flat to the saddle, then tighten the two two three mil Allen keys that we've got under there, which we released earlier in the tutorial. I'm going to do that now. Okay, I've left those loose for the moment. I think those are going to require further adjustment. Okay, next I'm going to mount the gib. Okay, I've re-slid the gib into place. Remember these are fully loosened at the moment, so they're not gripping the gib. Now going to see about um, refitting the final table. Okay. That was quite straightforward. I just slid it in from this end, keeping an eye on the gib from underneath. Then after I'd slid that into place, I then just checked the gib and uh, I've lined it back up behind the block. And uh, I think it'll be okay to just... Uh, finger tight the gib screws just to hold the gib in place now and then I'm going to look at these mounting ends okay okay once you've got those so they're just like finger tight I've used a um, 3 mil allen key you don't want them too tight because you're going to lock off this bed else just adjusted them so that there's no slop and it easily it can slide backs and forwards started with the two outer ones and then I went for the inner ones we can now fit, refit the little scale now which was mounted in the left hand of those two center holes okay I'm going to fit that now okay what I'm going to do next is the motor mount from that end I'm going to uh, key it into the other half of the Lovejoy connector. I'm going to get that inserted. I'm going to slide along the bed to it. Then I'm going to put the two screws in, get that end mounted up. Okay, the two screws are ones that we saved it from earlier, from that end, which I've got there. Okay. Okay, that's now inserted in on the Lovejoy connector using the two screws that we put safely earlier into there. Now I'm going to screw that to the bed. I'm going to slide the bed along to the block and then I'm going to screw through into the in, from the block into the bed. Okay, just catch it with just one. Then put your other one in, line it up with the hole, get it so it just catches, then push your block, sorry, then push the bed up against it and then tighten them up and see them home. Right, okay, we've got that mounted there now, wires to the back, okay, got this one with the wires to that way, we've got this z-axis with the wires to the back. Okay, we're going to concentrate on this end now. And uh, then that'll be finished for the mechanical side of things. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> my desk looking a bit of a mess here. Everything's all just been uh, thrown to one side <laughs> while I've been working on the machine. Right, okay, let's...